Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo, and welcome to Hasty Hippo Hints, where I'm going to teach you tips and tricks of the reselling trade in under five minutes. Let's get to it. Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo, and thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, at Flippin' Hippos. Last week I got a question from one of our viewers, the Herod family, um, if I could help them find out how you can see your total cost of shipping to date on PayPal. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you the way that I look it up. Now, um... If you Google how to look up your shipping on PayPal, it is going to give you a different answer. However, that is if you're paying for shipping straight from PayPal. This um, method that I found um, last year when I was first trying to learn how to do it told me to go to reports and you can look up transaction type shipping, but I never get results there. And I'm pretty sure it's because we print our labels through eBay. So even though we're using PayPal to pay, it's not being kept on the PayPal system as a shipping transaction. So going to the reports and looking for transaction type shipping doesn't work if you are buying your labels through eBay and paying that way. I'm gonna show you the way we do it. It works like a charm every time. So you're gonna see this also, you're gonna see this untitled notepad here um, throughout. I am just using that to cover up our customers' names. I'm not trying to hide anything we got from you guys or anything. It's just our buyers' names are like right here, first and last name, and I'm just trying to protect their identity. So when you first log into PayPal, you will be on your summary page, and it should look like this. You're going to click up here at the top, third one over, activity. That's going to bring you to a page that's going to look like this, except it's going to show all of your activity. It's going to show um, payments received and payments you've sent out. I sort of have already set it up this way so that, again, my customer's information is not like being blasted out on YouTube. So when you first click that activity tab, when you come here, it's going to have all the activity here. You're going to go up here all the way on the right past the blue boxes to this drop down menu you're going to click the fifth one down one two three four five business name and you're going to type in ebay inc shipping you're going to hit the magnifying glass here it is going to pull up everything you have paid to ebay inc shipping and this again is why you cannot use the reports because you're paying through eBay Inc. shipping. So PayPal doesn't see this as a shipping transaction. It sees it as a payment. So you search by the business name, eBay Inc. shipping, and you can go up here on the left right here where there's this drop down menu and you can choose past 30 days, past 90 days, all of 2018, all of 27 or you can click in here and pull up the calendar and set specific dates so say you just wanted to see what you've spent so far in April you would just select April 1st through today's date submit and you would see all of April I don't believe it gives you a total though so you would have to add it up yourself um, the easy way around that is to get a program for accounting such as QuickBooks or GoDaddy Bookkeeping. We use GoDaddy Bookkeeping. Um, it syncs itself to eBay and pulls and PayPal and pulls the information from both eBay and PayPal into the program um, and sorts it for you. So when you're using an accounting program like that, you can just look up your shipping at any time and get the total. If you're not using a program like that, unfortunately, you're going to have to add it all together here yourself. Um, and the GoDaddy, we use it, we like it, we love it. I think it's a little bit easier to understand than QuickBooks. If you're not, if you're not real savvy with accounting or anything like that, GoDaddy is a lot simpler and it has that option where you can sync it to PayPal and you can sync it to eBay. Okay, and just quickly before I let you guys go, I did look to see if there was an easier option than what I've shown you where you have to go through and manually add all those all of these um, totals here together if you're not using an accounting program and um, this person says if you log into your PayPal account go to the history tab you can select download history select the date range you would like and you can um, select all activity and you get an email when the log is ready to download you can open that file they're going to send you um, that you're going to download in a spreadsheet program like Excel 
and sort the spreadsheet by payments sent to the U.S. Postal Service or eBay Inc. shipping or anything like that. That is a way around having to manually add it together, um, but it, it's a little more um, in depth, but you can get that report and open it in a spreadsheet and then you have all of your information there for you. If you're not using an accounting program, this may be the way you want to go. So um, you have all of that information in a spreadsheet for yourself, kind of like an accounting program, but again, you're having to do all the work. I definitely would recommend getting an accounting program. GoDaddy's not that expensive. It's very cheap to start. I think you can even do your first 30 days for free if you just want to try it out and see if you like it. Thank you for joining us today on Hasty Hippo Hints. If you like this video, please do me a favor and smash the like button down below. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.